Remember how your pet Labrador, Peanut, used to love running around in the great outdoors and always bound down the stairs when you got in the front door? Remember how Cristiano Ronaldo used to score a freakish number of goals? We all do, but Peanut just sits around the house smelling a bit weird and farting a lot these days. And as for Cristiano Ronaldo, what was once effortless is now laboursome and the numbers just aren't adding up like they used to. On his 33rd birthday, we're asking, is Cristiano Ronaldo finished? Okay, we don't seriously think CR7 needs to be carted off to the vets in one of those little pet carriers, but there's no denying two things. He's coming into the twilight of his career and his performances have dipped this season. Only level with Paulinho in the race for the Pichichi, the award for La Liga's top scorer, his goal tally has dropped off an absolute cliff in the league this season. While his form in the Champions League has been as impressive as ever, bagging 9 in 6 during the group stage, the sheer number of chances he's missed domestically is a massive cause for concern. Of course, the attention on Cristiano has been massively increased by the broader situation in La Liga, namely the fact that Real Madrid are miles behind Barcelona and don't even look assured of a top four place. Throw in a long-running contract dispute and the feeling that he is, and always has been, underappreciated by the Real Madrid crowd and you've got to ask whether Ronnie's lost his mojo. Another factor has to be motivation, as Sir Alex Ferguson showed on multiple occasions. Breaking up a successful team is vital to keep a squad hungry enough to replicate a great season. Ronaldo is one of the most dedicated footballers around, who's worked incredibly hard to get to the level he has but you just wonder whether even on a subconscious level, he's feeling a bit sorry for himself at the moment. As always, when talking about Ronaldo, comparisons with Leo Messi are never far away, and that's the case again here. The Argentinian has bagged himself a fat new contract, making him the best paid player in the world, and he's averaging more or less a goal a game at the summit of La Liga. Meanwhile, Ronaldo is at something of an impasse at the Bernabeu. The club are reluctant to hand him a new deal and it's not hard to sympathise with their position given he's already tied down until he's 36 and on a lot of money as it is. Unsurprisingly, Ronaldo's unfaltering self-belief means he doesn't share that opinion. He's previously said he wants to keep playing until he's 41. With the amount of money it would take to prize him away from Madrid, you can only see a select group of clubs being interested. And even then, they might be put off by the costs involved. So it seems Ronaldo and Madrid's only option is to knuckle down and try to get through the sticky patch he and they currently find themselves in. But is he still the explosive force of nature we once knew? We all know that sad, sad feeling you get when the physical stats start declining on one of your longest serving and best players on Football Manager. And that's what seems to be happening with Cristiano. He's clearly lost the proverbial yard of pace and now even his finishing is letting him down. So where does he go from here? They say you can prove anything with stats, but the numbers really do bear out some worrying trends. The past three years have seen him score at a rate of around or better than one goal a game. But so far this season, he's dipped to around one in two, and his shot conversion rate is lagging well behind the rest of La Liga's top strikers. Admittedly, a goal every other game is a pretty great return for most forwards, but it goes without saying that Cristiano doesn't fit into that category. Is it just a temporary loss of form or something uh, more significant we have to wait and see. As I say from last season's example, we saw that Ronaldo came on very strong in the second half of the season. If, as he often has done in recent years, does something special in the Champions League to eliminate PSG and then goes and if Madrid continue to go on, even if they don't win the Champions League but come close, then I could see him Rosie in the, the Ronaldo garden once again. But I think there is no doubt that if not the end of his career, the, the end of, of peak Ronaldo is very close and the amazing thing isn't that this is happening now, it's that he's maintained that level for such a long period of time. Yet despite all this, he did score his 19th and 20th goals of the season in all competitions from the penalty spot against Valencia at the Mestalla. And as the old saying goes, form is temporary, class is permanent. But after so many years of peerless performance, we're finally being exposed to a fallible Cristiano Ronaldo. That in itself is testament to an incredible career, but the brutal reality is that we're witnessing a superstar in decline. It's still too early to judge at just what pace this decline will take place, but we've started seeing glimpses of it, and it is happening.